Reading a Clock, Part 1 Today we will learn to read the hour hand of the clock and read the minute hand of the clock. Hello, sir. Neha and Vandana, come inside. Tell me, what is it? Sir, this time for our school picnic, we are going to the amusement park, right? Yes. So, my father wants to know what is our timetable for that day? Meaning, at what time will the bus leave from school? At what time will it arrive at the amusement park? What time we will have lunch? And what time we will return? All right, all right, Neha. I got it. I have printed a copy of the timetable for all the students. You both... Take one each. Okay, sir. We will go now. Sir, why have you kept these two clocks that are not working on your table? <laughs> no, Neha. These two clocks haven't stopped. These two are working. No, sir. See, both these clocks have only one hand. Yes, Neha. Both the clocks have only one hand, but both the clocks are working. See? This clock only has the hour hand and this clock has only a minute hand and the button above these clocks can set the time by rotating these hands. So, are these two telling the right time? Yes, these clocks are telling the right time. According to these clocks, what is the time? I will match it with my watch and tell if it is correct or not. But, sir, we do not know how to read the clock. Why? Have you not been taught to read a clock in your class yet? No, sir. Never mind. I'll teach you. Reading a clock is very easy. Okay, please teach us, sir. This will be so much fun. See, first we will learn to see the hour hand. Vandana, please tell me on which number is the hour hand at present? Sir, is the hour hand in the hour clock? Yes. Sir, then the hour hand is at 9. It means it's 9 o'clock. Sir, if it were 10 o'clock? Then the hour hand would have been at 10. Meaning the number of which hour hand is on, that is the time, sir? Yes. This is very easy. Yes, it's easy. Now, with the help of this button, Move the hour hand to the place where it would be when it is 2 o'clock. Okay, sir. I will try. Mm, the hand is at 10 right now. Now it's at 11. Meaning it's 11 o'clock. Now it's 12 o'clock. Now it's on 1. That is 1 o'clock. Now it has come to 2. Sir, it will be on 2 when it is 2 o'clock. Well done, Vandana. Look. Reading or seeing a clock is very easy, isn't it? Yes, sir. But how to read this minute hand? It is very easy. Neha will read the minute hand. Listen carefully, Neha. The clock has numbers from 1 to 12. The difference between every number is 5 minutes. When the minute hand is on 1, then it is said to be 5 minutes. The same way, when the hand is on 2, then it means 10 minutes have passed. Meaning, multiplying the number where the minute hand is with 5 will tell us how many minutes have passed. Got it, Neha? Yes, sir. I will try. Okay. Then tell me, which number is the minute hand on now? Sir, it is now at 6. Now tell me, how many minutes have passed? So, if the hand is on 1, then it's 5 minutes. Hand is on 2, then it's 10 minutes. Hand on 3, uh, it will be 15 minutes. That's right, Neha. Just keep multiplying the number by 5. You will find out the minutes. When the hand is on 4, uh, 20 minutes. When the hand is at 5, 25 minutes. And when the hand is on 6, it will be 30 minutes. So, as per this clock, 30 minutes have passed. Absolutely right, Neha. Now, with the help of this button, move this hand to the number 
when 60 minutes would have been completed. Sir, there are 5 minutes between any two numbers. Right now the minutes hand is on 6, then it is 30 minutes. This would mean when the minute hand is on 7, then it is 35 minutes. When the hand will be on 8, it will be 40 minutes. 45 minutes on 9, 50 minutes when the minute hand is on 10, 55 minutes on 11 and it will be 60 minutes at 12. So, when the minute hand is on 12, it will be 60 minutes. Absolutely right, Neha. Now you have learnt to read the hour hand and the minute hand separately. Now I will give you one sheet each. Now draw the time given in the timetable I gave you in the clocks made on the sheet. When you will fill and bring it to me, then we will learn to write both hands together. Okay, sir. Now we will go. Today we learnt the number on which the hour hand is at tells the number of hours passed and the number on which the minute hand is at multiplied by 5 will tell the number of minutes passed. Reading a Clock Part 2 Today we will learn to read the clock in the form of hours and minutes. So we have done the homework you gave us. Which homework? So you taught us to read the hour and minute hands yesterday and told us to make hour and minute hand on the clocks for all the time mentioned in the picnic timetable. So sir, I have made the hour hand according to the time given and Neha has made the minute hand. Oh yes, show me. Let's see what's the first time. The first time is 7 hours 15 minutes in the morning. Vandana, you have shown the hour hand at 7. And Neha, you have shown the minute hand at 3. These are absolutely correct. Sir, look at the rest as well. Yes, I'll see all of them. Yes, all of them are correct. You have learned to read the hour and minute hand separately. And now you can read the clock. What does that mean, sir? That means you can look at the clock and tell the time. Okay. Look at this clock. A clock has two hands. A small hand is an hour hand. The big one is the minute hand. Can you tell by looking at the clock that what time it is? Let's try, sir. Hmm. The hour hand is on one in this. It means it's one o'clock. And sir, the minute hand is on two. It means it's ten minutes. You both have said it right. Now we will tell the time by putting together the hour hand and the minute hand. That means it is ten minutes past one. So is it really that easy? Yes. See, I will now turn these hands. Now you tell me what time it is. So, I do not understand now. Because the hour hand is not at 3, it has moved ahead of 3. Yes, Vandana. If the hour hand was at 3, the time would have been 3. But because it is ahead of 3, it means that it is more than 3 o'clock and it is behind 4, which means that it is not 4 o'clock as yet. Well, sir, now it is understood that if the hour hand moves ahead of any number, then how we need to read it. But, sir, it is understood from this clock that at this time it is more than 3 and less than 4. But how much more than 3 is the question now? To tell how many minutes are more than an hour, the minute hand is red. Neha. You read the minute hand. Sir, it is 30 minutes. It means that it is already 3 o'clock and it is 30 minutes more than 3 o'clock. If we read the time from this clock, we will say that it has been 30 minutes past 3. 
now we understand a little sir as you practice reading time you will know how to read a clock fully let's read once again tell me what is the time now sir the hour hand is ahead of 8 which means it has been a few minutes past 8 not few but it's 45 minutes that is the complete time is 45 minutes past 8 very good now you have answered correctly tell one more time this one so the time is a little more than 12 some minute hand is ahead of 2 and has not reached 3 How will you read minutes in it? Look, Neha, are you seeing these small marks in between the numbers of this clock? Yes, sir. Every mark tells a minute. For example, if the minute hand is on two, we know that it has been ten minutes. But if it comes to the next mark from ten, we will say it is eleven minutes. Twelve minutes will be read on the next. Beyond that, thirteen. and 14 when it comes to 3 it will be read as 15 minutes got it sir according to this it is 12 minutes now so now read the clock and tell the time yes sir as per this clock now it's 12 o'clock and 12 minutes wow neha and vandana now you have learned to look at the clock very well tell me once what have you learned today So we learned that the small hand in the clock is the hour hand and the big hand is the minute hand if the hour hand moves ahead of any number then we will say that the time is more than that number and to see the time which is more than that number we have to look at the minute hand the small marks in the clock shows 1 minute Very good. Now you can look at the clock and tell the time. Thank you sir. Our class is about to start. We will go now. Reading a clock part 3. Today we will learn the relation between hour and minute hands of a clock so we want to know a little more about how to look at the clock tell me what do you want to know so we want to know when the minute hand and the hour hand move forward and what is the relation between them if you keep looking at the clock carefully you will see that slowly slowly the minute hand moves ahead across the small marks on the clock when the minute needle reaches a mark the time from there to when it reaches the next mark is called a minute in this way when the minute hand takes a complete circle then the hour hand reaches from one number to another the hour hand rotates very slowly probably that's why we can't see it moving yes yet if you look at the hour hand very carefully you will be able to see its movement sir how will you read the time of this clock 0 minutes past 4 o'clock or 60 minutes past 3 o'clock both are correct but 0 minutes past 4 o'clock is more appropriate how sir 60 minutes equals 1 hour So when you say it's sixty minutes past three o'clock, this means that it is one hour more than three o'clock, as in it is zero minutes to four o'clock. I got it, sir. After fifty-nine minutes past three o'clock, it is better to say zero minutes to four o'clock. Absolutely right, Neha. Or we can say it's four o'clock. If the minute is zero. then it is not necessary to say it i will show you one more time on the clock now tell me what time is it this is easy sir it is 45 minutes past 5 o'clock correct now tell me how many minutes is this less to 6 o'clock 15 minutes less to 6 o'clock sir very good neha 
and we can tell the time in the clock this way too. I did not understand, sir. See, when looking at a clock, we read the hour hand first, and according to that, you tell the time. Yes, sir. If the hour hand moves ahead of five but is behind six, then it becomes certain that it is more than five and less than six o'clock. Yes, sir. Even this is understood. How much more or less can be found by reading the minute hand? Yes, sir. Now you can tell the minutes if they are less or more. As Vanna said, it is forty-five minutes past five in the clock. This means that it is forty-five minutes more than five o'clock. And as Neha told that it is fifteen minutes to six o'clock. That means it is fifteen minutes short of six o'clock. Now I have understood, sir. Tell me, what did you understand? That, sir, when the minute hand completes one round, then it makes one hour. This means an hour consists of sixty minutes, and it can be told taking more minutes to the time like forty-five minutes past five o'clock, or the remaining minutes like fifteen minutes left to six o'clock. Time can be told in both the ways. Reading twelve. And twenty-four hour clock, part one. Today we will learn how time is written, and why and how a.m. and p.m. are used while writing time. I want to learn how to dance, but where should I learn? There is a dance school in my colony. You can join there. Even I learned dance there during my holidays. It was a lot of fun. We both can learn together. That will be a lot of fun. Do you have any information about dance class? Yes, I do. I have their pamphlet. Hey, then show it to me. Come home, I'll show you. See here is the pamphlet of the dance class. Show. They have mentioned the dance style and name of the teacher, but they have not mentioned what time they teach. It must be there. Look carefully. Oh yes, it does not mention the time. Hello, Auntie. Hello, Neha. What are you both looking at? Auntie, actually, I want to join a dance class. That is very good. Along with the studies, one should perform other activities as well. Yes, Mummy. That's why I'm also thinking of learning dance again. What is there to think? You both can join the dance class together. Yes, Auntie. That is what we are planning. But the dance class timings are not written in the pamphlet. Show me. The time of dance class is written on it. Where? See here. This is the time. There is no hour or minute written on it. Oh, this means you haven't been taught about time yet. No, Auntie. It's not like that. We know how to tell time. Okay. Then you will understand this easily. See here, it is written batch one, and the time of batch one is written in front of it, from six o'clock to seven thirty. Hmm. So does this mean that these two dots are made in between to tell the hour and minute? Yes, and these are not dots. This sign is called colon, and for time, hour. Colon minute is written like this on paper. See, it is twenty minutes past two o'clock in our house clock. So it will be written like this: two colon twenty. Okay, this means that the first batch is from six o'clock to thirty minutes past seven o'clock. Yes. Then why have they written this information twice? Where is it written twice? See this. The same time is written in front of batch one and in front of batch six, from six o'clock zero minutes to thirty minutes past seven. No, these two are different timings. Batch one is in the morning and batch six is in the evening. How do you know, Mummy? 
because they have written it look in front of batch 1 the time is written as am whereas pm is written in front of batch 6 am pm what do they mean auntie am is from 12 o'clock at night to 12 o'clock noon hence am written to show the time before noon and pm is from 12 o'clock noon to 12 o'clock at night hence pm is written to show the time after noon hmm whenever the time has to be mentioned we have to write it with the information whether it is before noon or after noon yes but what does am and pm stand for full form of am is ante meridium ante in latin language means before and meridium means noon so ante meridium means before noon oh that means the full form of pm would mean afternoon yes full form of pm is post meridium post means after and meridium noon hence pm means afternoon this means their batch 3 starts before noon at 11 o'clock and ends at 30 minutes past 12 in the afternoon absolutely right now you have learned to read and write time yes mummy even you can become a teacher <laughs> today we learned that time is written in form of hour colon minute am is written in front of the time when time is before noon pm is written in front of time when the time is afternoon full form of am is ante meridium which means before noon and the full form of pm is post meridium which means afternoon reading 12 and 24 hour clock part 2 today we will learn how to write time in the 24 hour format vandana i will not be able to come and play on sunday on sunday i mummy and papa are going on a trip to jhansi we will come back from there on sunday night jhansi has very nice forts we went there last year you will enjoy it definitely how are you going there we are going there by train so have your tickets been booked yes papa booked tickets on the internet and took a print too what does a train ticket look like let me have a look i have never seen a train ticket it is with my mummy you wait here i will get it Here are the tickets. One to go to Jhansi and one to come back from there. Let's see what all are mentioned on the ticket. Look, it has mummy, papa's and my name written on it. It is also written that this train will go from Delhi to Jhansi. And what is this written? Scheduled departure. What is the meaning of this? I don't know but the date is written in front of it and something else is written as time but it is not time time must be written in the format of time it's not see the time is written in 45 minutes past 17 yes and am pm is also not written along with it yes let's go and ask your mummy what is written here mummy it's good you came we want to ask you something Tell me what do you want to know Mummy this is our train ticket it has scheduled departure written on it what does this mean Scheduled means fixed time and departure means to leave so scheduled departure means time fixed for the train to leave that is the train will leave from the platform at this time so we have to board the train before this time this means this information is showing the time 
Yes, it is showing both the starting date of journey and time of the train. Here we have understood the date, but where is the time written? Look here, Vandana. Time is written right in front of the date. But it is written forty-five minutes past seventeen. Yes, but the time at most is twelve. We write one after twelve. So what does seventeen mean? Oh, now I understand why you are confused. I will clear your confusion. Well, tell me, how many hours are there in a day? There are twenty-four hours in one day. Absolutely correct, Vandana. There are two ways to write those twenty-four hours. One way is to write a.m. or p.m. along with the time, and the second way is to write the time according to the twenty-four hours. So, does this mean that this is written in the twenty-four hours format? Yes. But how will we know whether it is evening or morning time? It is very easy. One o'clock at night is written as one colon zero. Just like that, at two o'clock at night is written as two colon zero zero. Till twelve in the afternoon, it is written as twelve colon zero zero. Now tell me, what is the hour after twelve? It is one. Yes. But when the time is written in twenty-four hours format, then the twelve hours of the afternoon are not written as one, two, three again. Instead, they are written as thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, does this mean that writing in the twenty-four hours format, one o'clock in the afternoon will be written as thirteen colon zero zero? Yes. And when I saw that our train is at forty-five minutes past seventeen. I said that our train is at forty-five minutes past five o'clock in the evening. Because you started reading after twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. That means five o'clock in the evening. Yes, Neha. Hmm. Then how will we write twelve o'clock at night? <laughs> Why don't you try it yourself? Okay. If five o'clock in the evening is seventeen, six will be eighteen. At seven will be nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. That is twelve o'clock at night will be written as twenty-four colon zero zero. You found it correctly, Neha. If it is fifteen minutes past twelve o'clock at night, then how will we write it? Twenty-four colon fifteen. No. After twelve o'clock at night, time starts from zero. So, if you want to write one minute past twelve o'clock, zero zero colon zero one will be written. That means fifteen minutes past twelve o'clock at night will be written as zero zero colon fifteen in the twenty-four hour format. Yes. Now that you have understood it, you can look at these tickets and find out when we will leave and when we will come back. Okay mummy. Thank you auntie. Welcome. Today we learned how to write time in the 24 hour format. Reading 12 and 24 hour clock part 3. Today we will learn how to read time correctly. Hey Ayushman, why are you sad? Because tomorrow is my cousin's engagement and I will not be able to go. Why can't you go? See Vandana his invitation card for the engagement. His engagement is happening when I am in school. Show me Look, their engagement is from eight o'clock to eleven o'clock in the morning, and I am in school at that time. In this card, the time written is from eight o'clock in the evening to eleven o'clock at night. Who told you that the engagement is during school time? No, it is during school time. Look carefully. P.M. is written in front of the time. Yes, I saw. P.M. is written. That's why I am saying the engagement is in the evening. P.M. is used to mention the time before noon. No, Ayushman. The full form of P.M. is post meridian. 
meridian means noon and post means after so pm means afternoon really yes earlier i too used to get confused but since i started keeping the full form in my mind i have no confusion good this means i can go for the engagement yes you can go and you too memorize the full forms of am pm oh yes i have memorized for pm post meridian now tell me for am full form of am is ante meridian now i know meridian noon but what does ante mean ante is a latin word which means before so am means before noon now i understand and i'll never forget but the best part is that i can go for the engagement now how was the engagement program it was very good and i have got a time related riddle for you from there you will enjoy it can i ask you the riddle ask my uncle was supposed to come for my cousin brother's engagement but he couldn't come why couldn't he come that's the riddle listen further the time written on his train ticket was 20 minutes past 5 o'clock he reached the railway station at 5 o'clock in the evening he kept waiting but the train did not come he found out that the train had already left that's why he could not come oh that was very bad but what is the riddle here the riddle is that he reached the station before the time given on the ticket the train did not leave in front of him then how did he miss his train okay tell me what time was written on his ticket the time written on his ticket was 20 minutes past 5 o'clock that is fine but what was written in front of the time am or pm nothing like that was written only 20 minutes past 5 o'clock was written hmm that means the time was written in the 24 hours format and in the 24 hours format if it is written 20 minutes past 5 o'clock it means that the time of his train was 20 minutes past 5 o'clock in the morning but he arrived 20 minutes past 5 o'clock in the evening and the train had already left in the morning absolutely correct vandana i knew you could solve this riddle but from this incident it is understood that while looking at time the format in which it is written should be kept in mind vandana said that perfectly while looking at the time it should also be noted whether it is written in 12 hours or 24 hours format am is used for the time before noon and pm is used for the time afternoon 